and welcome back. This is Sarah's Creative Solutions. This is the instruction video for the Red Eye Tree Frog. On this template I've added a few extras for sculptural technique. In the base body I've added three air holes. And for the back feet I've added the toes and bones. These are just little bits of clay that you roll into a sausage or roll into a ball and add to the feet later. And as you can see there, the definition is a lot better and gives the foot a lot more depth. So the image of the bones and toes I'm showing here are to the size that you need to roll the balls of clay or the sausages too. I've also done some for the front feet as you can see here. As well as the nose, I can show you that on the video here. Zoom in a little bit. So as you can see, it is literally just two little sausage shape pieces of clay and then two balls of clay. So I have drawn it onto the template, but you may find that that's a really difficult bit to cut out. So it might be better if you just roll up some clay. And that's all the additions. Now I'm going to show you how I do the armatures for this piece. You will need some cardboard. I've drawn out the pattern and size you will need on the template so you can transfer that onto the card if you wish. They are literally just small pieces of card cut to fit under the abdomen and the back legs while they dry. This helps lift the leg into a decent position as it dries. Now I'm going to use some drywall or plasterboard for the armature for the head. In the making of this video I used an armature that I'd already made for another sculpture called the gecko. So here I'm showing you how to make the armature for the frog. I will supply the template pattern so when you cut it out you lay it onto the plasterboard, draw round and then use the uh, Stanley knife to cut out the shape. So the back of this armature needs to slope down to nothing. So on the template I've marked a line of roughly where you need to have the slope going from. So if you just score that in the plaster board and then lift it to its side and cut it at an angle. And once you've scored it, it should come away quite easily. Just do it as gently as you can and it gives you a nice angle for the frog to slope down underneath. Make sure you tidy away any plaster debris as this can affect your clay and firing. To stop plaster particles from entering my clay sculpture, I seal the edge with some slip. So now it's time to roll out the clay. 5 millimetres thick or 0.5 centimetres thick. Once you have cut out your template, lay all the parts on the clay and then cut out using a sharp tool. I recommend that you let the clay firm up slightly before cutting out the template. As you can see, I'm supporting the template with my other hand. This stops the template from moving and stops the pattern from being distorted.
then I use a blunt tool to draw out any pattern that is on the design template. As you can see, it is where it's going to be wall mounted, the middle body sections where it would be hollow, and any detail that's on the frog and toes. I then use a flat spatula to release the template from the board. Once you have done that, move all the pieces onto a fresh dry board. Take off the pattern and highlight any of the design that hasn't quite come through. Then leave to firm for about 20 minutes depending on the room temperature. This is where you start to assemble. Position the armature until you're happy with the frog and where the base would touch the wall. Start making the appropriate holes, one for where it would be wall mounted and the other three air holes that I described earlier on the template that I've added. This is where I'm adding the cardboard rear armature for the abdomen.
Then score and slip the middle body of the underside ready to attach to the base. Then score and slip the base body in the appropriate area shown. Then attach and pat down, making sure it's in the correct position. Then hollow out the areas that are marked. I'm adding the rib support there is two at the front and then one at the back but there is two pieces for the one at the back just to lift up the belly area and abdomen to make the frog look more natural This is where I add the double rib at the back of the abdomen.
Once the ribs are in place, take off the very edge into a nice curve so that when we apply the body lid, it will curve round to the side wall. And that's what I'm doing now, just taking off the very edge of each rib into a nice curve. add the frog lid we extend the belly sides on the wall area this enables the frog to take a more natural shape I'm cutting out here the side wall belly and I'm going to show you now where it goes on the paper template so base body first it would be the middle body and then you add the side wall template and then add the lid and here I am adding the lid now so now it's time to add the feet and this is where you will start to need those small card armatures. Make sure you score and slip between the feet and the legs.
In making of this video I only used bits of old dry clay as the armatures and I did use cardboard for the rear armature but I didn't have anything spare at the time so I just grabbed what was handy but the cardboard probably would work better because I did find that when I lifted the sculpture up to um, tidy underneath those bits of dry clay had stuck slightly to the underside of the sculpture. It didn't prove to be too difficult but it will be easier with the cardboard. So follow the template as supplied. I've supplied on the template pattern for the eyes. Here I'm using a bisque stamp to create equal eyeballs. Um, they're very easy to make. If you'd like to find out more how I did them, just email me on backyardartsd at outlook.com. As described earlier, for the nose it's two round pieces of clay and two sausages. And then blend in using a thick slip. Still in a rough form, still got a little bit of fine detail to do, but at this stage I've decided now to start tidying up. Any areas where the joins are, I fill in with thick slip, and anywhere that needs a little bit more support or any gaps or any uneven pieces, I use thick slip to blend, blend, blend. It's very important at this stage not to use too much water as you want the clay to stay firm so that it will not sag or lose its shape. So if you find that the clay is getting a little soft then rest, go and have a coffee, come back in about an hour, leave it unwrapped so it can start to dry out again.
described earlier in this video, I added to the template toe bones and toe balls. You can see on the back legs there that I've already added these as definition. it's time for the final detail so I'm working on the eyes, the nose, the eyelids, the mouth, the nostrils and finally I use some lovely tools that I have to create a frog skin. If you would like to know the tools that I do use you can find me on Facebook Backyard Art Studio Art or you could email me on backyardartsd at outlook.com. But don't worry if you didn't get all that, if you look in the video description below you will see all the links to my pages, my shop, my Instagram and my email. Now it's been a few hours and he's gone quite firm as you can see and this is what I mean by leather hard. You can literally lift him up, turn him over and he's not too bad. That leg there is a little bit wobbly though as you can see so I have done it a little bit too soon and it needs to be firmer than that but I'm supporting the leg with my hand and I am successful in not breaking the leg off. But when you do it, make sure there's no movement in the clay before you lift the frog off the base. Here I am now filling in any gaps with more thick clay underneath and tidying up the underside of the frog. So as you can see here, there are some air holes I've added to the body base. On the um, template that I've supplied you, I have added these holes in and marked them out so apply these once you have added the middle body and hollowed out and then add the three holes and now I'm adding my stamp you don't have to do this part you can leave this bit out if you wish Carefully turn the frog back over and once you've laid him down on the board return all the support armatures as he continues to dry out as you've added more moisture to the clay so it's become a little bit soft again. So 
So, as you can see, he's firming up really well now. He's at the stage what I would call leather hard. And uh, I'm going to pick him up in a moment and show you how firm that leg is. And this is the stage where you should really be applying that thick slip like I did before. I turned him over and his leg was a little bit too floppy. So I recommend that this is the stage that you would do the tidying up underneath with a thick slip. And that's the tree frog template. So if you'd like a copy of this, email me on backyardartsd at outlook.com, subscribe, and if you would like to get an offer of buy one get one free, leave me a review on Etsy. But like I say, if you email me on backyardartsd at outlook.com, I'll send you all the details over. Thanks for watching guys.